Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be having an in box review of Academy's brand spanking new 135th scale T3485, and it's the um, 112 factory production. Um, this kit, right, is absolutely brand spanking new um, for 2015. It's a completely new tool. Um, which this is, you know, the the first launch of it as well. So completely new here. Nice box art going on. Let's just open this up, All right? And we'll get started. Uh, first off, we'll jump straight in to the um, lower hull. So bringing you in, first thing um, you notice about this, it is very crisp and tidy. Um, the plastic feels rather um, nice and smooth, no need to um, do any kind of like sanding it down. The detail on here, we've got recessed rivets and recessed panel lines and, uh, and all sorts of cool detail going on in here. Um, we have also this absolutely really cool um, sort of um, textured effect going on as well on the hull as well as we've got some weld marks going on around there as well nice sort of in scale weld marks as well sadly <coughs> on this top hull there's been a bit of damage going on in the packaging and these little um, bits that stick out here have sort of broken over a bit which is rather a shame um but that's the only bit of damage i've found on the kit the tracks now the tracks um <clears throat> not my cup of tea they are well detailed um you know they look good but i don't like this sort of some parts of it being all together and then you got bits that you bring together i don't like that sort of thing I've, i either like it you know those all-in-one sort of rubber tracks or i personally like just lots of these loads of them and you stick them all together and you can really customize how you have the tracks but with this um you know that is it it is fixed in that position and that is it it does have a bit of a a nice bit of realistic sort of wave to it so as you know it's not going to be just flat and look a bit unrealistic uh, sadly we do have ejector pin marks um, going on all on the top absolutely loads of them um, so you might want to kind of weather them out with mud or something like that <clears throat> moving along we have a few pieces here which is like our um, the bottom of our hull again very nice good crisp detail the sides of the hull um, drive wheels and everything going on just at the back here with nice cool bolts going on let's bring you in on that as you can see, really cool bolts going on in there. Again, we've got that lovely texture as well on, I think it's the driver's hatch. Um, we've also got some pretty cool um, vent detail as well going on in there. Um, sadly, again, you know, we turn this over and this is just not gonna be a eject pin mark friendly kit. Um, but moving along to the turret, um, hopefully you've seen here, absolutely gorgeous texture. We've got really cool sort of weld marks going on around there. We've also got two options here. We've got like a World War One as well as like a, a North Korean War version as well so um, nice bit of option going on in there the gun mantlets you know have got all that lovely texture going on there very crisp no flash at all going on with this kit which is rather cool um, we've got some sort of detailed pieces here we have um, some hatches hopefully you can see the, the surface details looking just as good as everything um, as, as well oh, sorry looking just as good as ev everywhere else on the kit um, but again you know these ejector pin marks are absolutely everywhere so if you want these hatches open we've got some ejector pin marks to take care of um, the wheels you know same detail as everywhere else on the kit very nice crisp smart neat good detail um, rather rather a good kit um, there are just a couple of now um, bags which are just full of like little bits which um, um, I think you sort of get the picture of the quality of the kit loads more wheels um, a few other little bits and bobs in here um, so I'll, you know to speed up this inbox review um, we do get a little bit of photo etch right? we've got some um, 
some nice photo etch here for um, our, some sort of grills or something. Really feels very um, not thick at all. Feels like good photo etch. It's not um, um, Eddard photo etch, but it does look and feel good quality photo etch we do have our decals again you know decals with armor it's not really um a big biggish deal let's zoom you out a little bit obviously you can see it's all in white it does they do feel um like they could be good quality but you never know until you actually um start using decals to be honest so just put that away and then we come to the instructions well first off we have um some markings going on here color schemes and different markings where all your decals go we've got enough to do six um different tanks going on here um three of them are like the korean war and the other three are world war ii so then we have our instructions let's get this out of the way a second Right, in our instructions, um, you know, the paper is just sort of like a, a medium quality paper, very matte, no colour. Um, got some nice colour call outs, but moving along, the, the instructions, they really isn't anything um, major to note in here. It does look as though you are going to get where you need to get. Um, there's no sort of major options going on with these instructions apart from say the turret that's where you know we seem to have the different options for um the korean war or world war ii it continues on the other side um and again you know it really isn't rocket science it's really straightforward and simple um, now this kit is actually priced rather nicely it is 25 pounds 99 rrp so cracking price cracking new tool got a bit of photo etching there um, the detail all around this kit looks really um, nice and crisp smooth um, no flash the only thing I can sort of knock this on is, you know, you've got those ejector pin marks to um, look out for. But with armour, let's face it, I mean, we can come along with all sorts of um, mud to, to fill them in that way. Um, and then there was that little bit of damage on the top of the hull where it's been in a bit of sort of not the best kind of packaging going on there. But then again, it could be a one-off for this kit so all in all this kit is a well recommended kit uh, definitely worth the price um, you know and it's something again I would love to build um, but we will see so until next time my name is Bobby Waldron this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed <laughs>